Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am one month into my transition from heat damage, so I wanted to show you guys my quick wash day routine and what my hair is kind of looking like. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, I'm just going to take my hair out of this style that it's been in for about a week and a half almost. This has pretty much been my go-to style since I started transitioning. Um, if my hair is not braided and put back like into a bun or something, it tends to break or get really dry. So yeah, this is pretty much what it is. <laughs> my hair definitely needs a lot of love. So now I'm just prepping my hair for detangling and I'm just spraying my hair with a little bit of water and I'm going to section my hair into four sections. It's just way easier that way. To detangle, I am using Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. It has a nice slip and does a really great job of getting all the tangles out of my hair. I do a combination of finger detangling and using a wide tooth comb on my heat damaged ends and then I just braid up my hair, clip it up and do the same thing three more times. this transition has taught me is to try my best not to panic. Your hair is pretty much at its worst state ever and honestly it can be really stressful but you just gotta kind of take your time and work through it um, and try not to stress. I know it's easier said than done but it's really what's been keeping me sane. <laughs> Now that I'm done detangling, yay! I'm gonna go through and shampoo. I actually really love this shampoo. It does a great job of detangling my hair, clarifying my hair as well without stripping it of moisture. So I really like that. So I'm just gonna continue massaging the shampoo into the sections of my hair and I'm gonna focus on my scalp because that's where my hair really needs it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop pretending like I have a sink in here because I don't and go rinse out my hair. <laughs> I'm back with cleaner hair and a lot less makeup. <laughs> now it's time to apply my deep conditioner, which is my favorite part of wash day. So I'm using the Jamaican black castor oil, which I just love this line. And I'm going to work that through my hair and put my hair back in the sections. I'm using a plastic cap to put over my hair. And I just got this heated cap a few days ago. I'm gonna leave the link in the bio, but it's really nice. You just throw it in the microwave and you put it on your hair for some added heat to your deep conditioner. This cap really helped to penetrate my deep condition. And I love that it's just hands-free and I can go about my business and do things that need to get done, like updating my Instagram. <laughs> The next few clips are what my hair is looking like one month into my transition from heat damage. It's really kind of so frizzy you can't really see, but uh, these are the best kind of images I could get. I'll try and get better ones next time. The top of my hair is definitely the most damaged and slowest growing. It needs prayer, y'all. Um, but yeah, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way my hair is growing. So that's it, guys. This is my quick kind of chill version of my wash day and what my one month hair transition's looking like. Thanks so much for watching, and now I'm gonna go do something with my hair. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.